Local man contacted 10 News after he says this recently resurfaced road left him with major injuries. The man was cycling in Claremont when he flipped, cracking his helmet in six places. 10 News reporter Craig Herrera has the man's mission to get the lanes fixed. Terry Powers cycles to work every day in Kearney Mesa using these bike lanes, but getting there is becoming more dangerous and that's not because of traffic. I can't recommend biking any longer. He asked that we not show his face because of his profession, but he showed 10 News these bike sharrows that were recently painted along Balboa Avenue. They put a uh, paint over the loose gravel and right over a pothole. The traffic lanes were repaved last month, but look at the bike lane. They left the bike lanes in shambles, actually in worse condition than they were before. You can clearly see where the lanes have been resurfaced. They're darker in color and nice and smooth, but the bike lanes still have plenty of cracks and potholes. This pothole is about two and a half feet wide and at least two inches deep. Because of these conditions, Powers decided to take an alternate route along Arrow Drive last October, but that turned out to be a bad detour. I struck a, a big chunk of asphalt that was paved right into the bike lane. He flipped his bike and ended up in the hospital with over $12,000 in medical bills alone. His insurance will cover most of it, but he filed the claim with the city and tells 10 News he cannot believe the response he got from the Deputy Director of Public Works Field Engineering Division. Condition of the bike lanes were no better, quote, no better or worse than they were before they started the construction. Our calls to the deputy director were not returned. Council member Lori Zapp's office tells 10 News they cannot comment on the matter because of the claim, but they are taking it seriously and looking into the matter. In Kearney Mesa, Craig Herrera, 10 News. Well, this is the area where Terry Powers says that the bike lanes are dangerous. It's on Balboa Avenue between Kearney Villa Road and Ruffin Road. Well, that's almost the entire stretch of Balboa between the 163 and the I-15. 10 News found cracks and crumbling asphalt on both sides of the road. 